Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and install your DAP1320. Now the first thing to do to set it up is to plug it into a wall outlet. When you plug it in, the light on the front should turn red, then after a few seconds should start to flash orange. From there you want to move over to a wireless computer so we can start the setup. So from your wireless computer, you want to scan for available wireless networks and you should see the default signal from your DAP1320. Now inside the box of your DAP1320 is a wireless configuration note. On this note, you will find your default wireless network name and the default wireless password. This is what you're gonna to need to know to connect to the wireless signal from your DAP1320. Now, if you no longer have this card, this information is also right on the bottom of the DAP1320 on a little white sticker. Now, once you've connected to the default wireless signal, the next thing you want to do is just open up your web browser. From here, you should be automatically redirected to the DAP1320 configuration page, where you'll be presented with a Wi-Fi connection setup wizard. From here, you just want to click on the next button to start the wizard. Now, the first step in the wizard is to choose how you'd like to configure it. Here, we have two different options, WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup, or manual. Now if you're not sure what WPS is or if you're not sure if your router supports WPS, then go ahead and choose the manual option. Now in this example, I'm going to show you how to set it up manually. So you just want to put a dot next to manual and then click on the next button. From here it's going to scan for all your available wireless networks and show you a list of all the ones that are available. From here you just want to put a dot next to your wireless network or the network you want to extend and then scroll down to the bottom and click on the connect button. Now if the wireless network you're trying to extend is security enabled, it will ask you to enter in your Wi-Fi password. So from here you just want to enter in any security password that you have set on that wireless network and then click on the next button. Now the next step here is to create a new extended wireless network. So here you'll see an extended Wi-Fi network name and you'll see an extended Wi-Fi network password. So here you, we want to change this information. So you want to go ahead and erase the Wi-Fi network name that's there and go ahead and enter in a new wireless network. Once you've done that, you also want to go down and change the default wireless password. So again, you just want to erase it and enter in your new password. Now there is a checkbox that says use the same Wi-Fi network name for my extended network. This is an option if you want to keep the same wireless network name and password that you're currently using on your router. However, when you're using an extender or a repeater, it's always best to keep the name separate. This will make it easier for determining which wireless signal you're connected to. So we would suggest leaving that box unchecked and then clicking on the next button. So from here, you're going to get a summary of your wireless network settings, the ones that you just configured. Please ensure to note down any passwords or wireless network names that you've created for future reference. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on the Save button. The DAP1320 will now do a reboot to apply your new settings. Now once the device has finished rebooting, you're most likely going to be disconnected from your wireless network. At this point, you just want to go ahead and scan again for your available wireless networks. And we're going to connect now to the new extended wireless signal that we just created. Once connected, your setup is complete and your internet should be working as normal. Now, a common question that comes up when setting up a repeater or an extender is where do I place it? Now, placement of the DAP1320 is very important. You want to make sure that you put it in an area where it's still getting very good signal from the router. Typically the best area is about halfway between your router and the area that you want to extend the signal to. However, depending on your environment, you may need to move it around a few times to find the optimal area. 